what's going on beautiful people? We've made it. As you saw in the last video, we finished the whole racking system. Are you pleased, Matt? Oh, it's looking amazing, isn't it? Like, I'm loving it. It's what all working. What could you want? Yeah, it's all working as well. Well, so for, for a minute. We had a slight <laughs> issue, but it seems to be holding perfect now. Yeah. Equal flow. Jeez. <laughs> equal flow. E equal, f equal bubbles? Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. Ish. Yeah. Is he here? Yeah, he's there. He's yeah, cool. too much of that, isn't it? Um, <laughs> So today, we are need to go around the tanks that we will be breaking down um, and distribute fish into the system all in a separate one so that then we can just pick them out, the ones we want for new scapes moving forwards. We've got a couple of bags here for some stuff we've collected already, so we can put them in first. And not to forget, as shown last uh, video, we have got oh, yeah. our first inhabitants, the electric blue Akara, which seem to love this uh, red uh, Ludwigia palustris here for some reason. <laughs> and then in this one, we've got the uh, royal Akaras, they're doing fine, they're just, you know, a bit freaked out because it's a new tank, but there's the big boy at the back there. The other two are just hiding behind the filter for the minute, but they'll get used to it shortly. Again, they've only been in there, what, like an hour now? Yeah, 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 maximum. So up here in this uh, bag, we've got some flying foxes. They'll yeah. be distributed evenly or? Uh, probably, yeah. I might put a little group together. Um, it was just, there was a little bit of hair algae on the frog bit when we took it out. So I'm going to put a lot of them over there just okay. to nibble that off. And then if we've got any other tanks in the, sh in the studio that need it, we can put them across there. But yeah, they'll be good, I think, mixed about. Uh, down the bottom here, we've got a load of cherry shrimp. Yeah, a few little cherries. They'll be going in shortly. And then this side is... Uh, blues and a few baby oranges that I managed to catch out. So, oh, and a load of ramshorns now. <laughs> Ideal. Because we can, like the ramshorns. We, we love them. We love the ramshorns. And just then at the top here... Caught a load of bristle noses out, so just acclimatising them now. So we've, we've so we've basically got like our clean-up crews yeah, and stuff like that. starting off with that, and then I'll distribute them across the system, and then again, they're good to take out, put in other tanks when we need them. So this tank here, which used to be the uh, sort of, what do we call it, the sorority, the yeah, better, better sorority, sorority tank, has become like the holding tank, if you like, for all the fish. There's even more in here than you can actually see, but there's massively different, diverse fish in here. They're all good together, aren't they, Matt? Yeah, but, they've been doing really well, actually. They've, yeah, all got along really well. For that rocket at the top, real, real big rocket killie. Yeah, there's a nice group of like five or six of them that sort of, they're actually good to watch from above, look, so you can see them from above. Yeah, just in amongst the plants. They do love that top area, don't they? They do, yeah, yeah. I suppose that's their, that's their natural habitat, isn't it? Lurking, you can see from the shape of them. So yeah, we've got a lot of, uh, we've got a lot of these Akara, the flag Akara's in here as well. Yep. Come out, come out. Uh, won't come out at the moment, no, but yeah. <laughs> they look great under the uh, light lighting in there, to be honest, don't they? All yeah. the colours of the fish do pop so well with the Chihiros. But yeah, it's going to take some separating. That We've is got plans for the work. candy canes, haven't we? Yeah, I think the candy canes will be a good one to go in with the Akaras. I think that's yes. a nice little group of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. They're a chunky fish as well, so they'll act as a really good dither fish. And, yeah. a, and a, a boisterous dither fish, because they've got that sort of bulk behind them. Because the Akaras are going to get bigger than that. Yeah. A decent size bigger than that. And they are going to be going in this tank, what Matt has just cleared out. We're going to be doing a full build video for them with some really amazing hardscape that we've got planned uh, to put in there. A real explosive look and something cool that you'll be able to see from that side of the studio, this side of the studio. Changing the lighting as well, because I, I, like, I just like the Superfish lighting better, Matt. Yeah, I yeah. just I just love what it does to every one of my planted tanks and they just grow so well. There's like, something uncomplicated about them, that's the nice thing. You turn them on, they're the right spectrum, they grow plants. They're exactly, really, really you don't have they? to worry about the, an app and stuff like that. I know yeah. some people like an app. They're, they're really good if you want to go into, into that side of it. The problem is you've got to concentrate on it because if you leave the blues on for too long or you leave the lights on for too long or whatever, then yeah, it becomes a problem. Whereas those on off, keep it to a sensible time and you're fine. I mean, just look here, like look at this tank. It's just from day one has just grown plants. Absolutely beautiful. Just one superficial LED. Yeah, I can't fault them, can't fault them at all. Right, so let's get grouping up some fish. Let's do it. Literally, the second I stopped filming, look, the Royals have come right out. Yeah. God, they are looking so good. They look nice, don't really they? Really healthy and thick, aren't they? Yes, they are chunky boys. Well, and girls, hopefully. I think that's probably a girl look down there, the one that keeps hiding. Yeah, fingers oh, come crossed. On. Fingers crossed we've got a mix in there. Yeah, and then we can get some babies. Yeah, that'd be cool. Whilst Matt's just sorting out the uh, shrimp and that, I'm going to end spilling water and piddling <laughs> water everywhere. <laughs> no, you didn't. Nothing. It's a fish stream. It's supposed to have water everywhere, right? It's going to get wet. <laughs> We've got 
new desk area for Matt to go in here. And the idea was Matt's idea actually said, put it here so that we can just see each other at either end of the studio. Yeah, we can wave <laughs> at each other then. Hi. Uh, <laughs> oh. Look at this, look at that. That's what it'll be, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then also I've got two really cool seats to build. I splashed out. Um, so did I. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of like recliners. Ooh. Uh, I don't know how good they're going to be, but oh. it, but it, as if we need any more nice rest areas. Yeah, it's just going to be chairs everywhere. <laughs> it's fine. These are on wheels, so we can do we can do racing. No, not more racing. Oh, by the way, a lot of you have already noticed in a lot of the videos. Oh yeah, it's still purple. Matt is still <coughs> fastest. Granted, we've been away and I haven't had a chance. I had a couple of laps to try and claim back. But he's still fastest. Just current a couple of champion, laps. Current Gran Turismo champion, Matt. <laughs> thank you. I'd like to thank my mum, my dad. And Mickey Mouse. Yeah, and someone else. <laughs> oh, you might have just seen these here as well. Uh, why are these here? Well, we were just going to swap them out for these ones and hope that no one noticed. <laughs> but the Everyone idea now, was going to notice. Are these past it, Matt? No. They could come back, but they're annoying me. So what I'm going to do is uh, take them down, wash off the soil, put them in tanks. I yeah. know how well they do in tanks. Yeah, I think we should do that. We'll just find some way to wedge them in the back of the tanks. And they'll just explode. They'll just take off. Yeah, they always do. Well. Um, I remember I had a Monstera before in my previous studio. It hit the ceiling in the head. Uh, these ones here are already really, really big. Uh, we also got some Pofos. Is it Pofos? Is that the right saying, Matt? Um, I think it's, yeah, Devil's Ivy, I think. Devil's but yeah, it's, like, yeah. It's, it's got a funny name, but I don't know if that's just because it's got a different name. Epipyriminum. Is Does that mean Pofos? Yeah, let's go Pothos. Looks it's, like a Pothos. It's going to work. It's the same as the one that I've got back there, and that was called Pofos when we bought that from the auction. It was, yeah. So, yeah, the idea is that these are in the baskets, and we can potentially just sort of hang them over the sides and the top. Uh, we've already got some ivy as well. Variegated, is it? Yes. That one, and then, like, normal one as well. So, that, yeah, it just adds another little sort of green element to it, just uh, jazzing it up a bit. You've got to keep it exciting, haven't you? Yeah. We were going to do it all the way down, you see, and this will eventually, but Matt said he wants to just put a few things on here to maybe have ease of access, which I think is a good idea. Adds to that fish room feel, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Feel fish room. I better get building. Yeah, you haven't done anything today. <laughs> I haven't stopped. <laughs> you mean like camera-wise, yeah? No, no, you've just been sat down all day. <laughs> People might think that, actually, because they quite often see me filming you doing stuff. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm either editing, speaking to people, organising stuff, you know. Trust him, he's always busy work. <laughs> no, I can't say that, because then they'll start mocking you in the comments. And, and they'll think, oh, they will anyway. It's yeah. fine, it's fine, I don't mind, I can take it. <laughs> You having fun there? Oh, hang on. This is, oh my, well, hang on. Let, right, this is what you've left for me to climb Sorry, through. I just, I just wanted to try it out first because that took ages and was nowhere. This is lovely. You were there for hours building oh, that. It was nowhere near as simple as it could have been. There was a lot of parts, to be fair. Watch this. Watch. I mean, this. No, not that one. Yeah, that is the one. That was very uneventful. No, it's not that one. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's just not, not going well. Have you broken it already? I think I've broken it. Oh. I think that's the, yeah, that's the recline. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go, then. Down to lock it. Lovely. Up to go however you want, and it moves. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? These were a really good price as well. This is way better than anything that was in IKEA. Right, it's your, it's your chair. Is that my one, is it? Take it for a spin. Fancy. What's this bit all about? There oh. you go, that slides in. Oh, okay. Like, push it together. I mean, you could have done it smoother than that, but <laughs> there we go. What do you think? Oh, How's that's it feels all right, nice, isn't it? It does feel nice. Yeah. Oh, take nice. it for a spin. Which one? <laughs> yep, yeah, that one goes back. Okay, yeah, I can. Comfy, eh? I don't think racing in a reclined position would be good. That's just drifting. That's for drifting. Oh, uh, yeah. Or cruising. <laughs> cruising. <laughs> yeah. Right, now I've just got to make another one. Oh, the bottom spins as you do that. Uh oh. Tools. Yeah, I've got to make another one. But the good thing is, like, I made 15 mistakes with that one. And with the Brilliant. next one, I should know what I'm doing. Great. So this one's going to fall apart. Oh, Sounds no, a no. bit rattly. Did you, did you leave something loose? 
It's Ooh, just put, uh, the tank. It's just wearing itself in. It's fine. It stopped now. Look, whatever was supposed to be attached under there is now not attached. <laughs> Yeah, great. Sorry. <laughs> so lots of the shrimp are now in their tanks. Seem to be doing really, really well. I love these blues down here. But um, the tanks are very clean, so we will be feeding them, you know, shrimp foods and things like that. But we've also got some mulberry leaves here. They'll go nicely in there. They won't uh, tan the water either, will they, Matt? No, not really. They're, um, yeah, they're but more of a, a food source rather than like a tanning thing. So, yeah, no, I think they'll be perfect for them. Most of the time with like certain shrimp, you need to have let the tank run for ages. But these are neos. We always find that it's absolutely fine as long as you're feeding the tank. That's it. It's a food source. You know, as long as you're feeding the tank, they are relatively hardy. Um, so, yeah, I think you'd be fine. But it's just making sure once you've got plants in there, moss balls, bit of mulberry leaves, you know, some botanicals breaking down, be fine. Cool. Let's put these in. How many's there? I think there's ten. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. Put, I thought there was just one. So we go like... <laughs> like just we one. Have, the... What have we got? We've not got anyone in these three at the moment. Okay. So we'll go three on the, two on the end and one in that one. Yeah. And then we might be able to find some more shrimp by the end of the day. Maybe. Yeah, we've got stuff dotted around, but also I'm going to order some in. We're going to do a, an, an order of some amazing fish very shortly, guys. We'll have unboxings and everything like that. But, um, yeah, we're going to find some different colours for the other three that are currently empty. Ah, oh, look at you. There you go. Take it then. So the leaves are actually floating at the moment, but you know, give them a few hours or so, at least by tomorrow morning, they're going to be sunk, aren't they? Oh yeah, easy. They'll take on water and sink down. We've got a big one in that one. We've got a couple of little ones on the top, which is hydrophobic. Yeah, sort yeah, they of, are. isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Look at me with the language. Oh, yeah, fancy. Hydrophobic. Someone's going to tell you you're wrong in the comments. So Matt, oh, excuse the uh, background noise. We're just filling up the water butt, but Matt has been taking out a lot of the plants, well, we both have, because we couldn't catch the fish. There was too many plants, weren't there? It was way too, way too planted to catch them. We knew we were going to be breaking it down anyway, so that's what we've done. I've been taking out clumps and clumps of plants. Look at all this bulbitis. We've got tons of java ferns as well, loads of booses. I've nearly done now. This is just a little bit left because we've been putting them all in the tanks. So you can see up here, look at this lot. And everything is attached to rocks, so it can be moved around, used in scapes. But every single one now has got a good amount of plants in. And you can see, look, we've got fish. It's like a fish shop. <laughs> these candy cane tetras are going to be going in escape soon, which is awesome. We've got some uh, gold or white neons, are these, Matt? Uh, yeah, gold neons, I think they're called. Gold neons. And you can see, look, they've got some bulb bites in the back. Uh-oh. Oh no, I thought it was duckweed. It's not, it's Hydrocot Japan. There's definitely duckweed in There's there. definitely duckweed in quite a few of them. We'll have to go around and get that out. Although it doesn't hurt that much. I think they're never going to eradicate it. So we weren't going to break this one down because it wasn't a priority, but we might as well now and take out everything. And this will be one that we can set up soon then, Matt. Yeah. The Akaras and the candy canes, like a full on yeah. rivery style. You know, nothing, yeah. nothing new, but it should look amazing there as another addition to the new studio. It's a long-term scape as well, isn't it? Those guys can grow up in there a little yes. bit more, and yeah, I think that'll be cool. And they're getting big, you know, especially the, uh, the Royals. The Royals are getting chunky, aren't they? Here we go, they're getting a lot more confident as well now. I mean, that Royal there was, was like, I'd say half the size when I got it, and now they're just doing great, and they're just going to keep keep growing. Matthew, can I just invite you over? That's the wrong sofa. For, That's it, my yeah, sofa. Well, it's weird. I, it doesn't I always, feel always, right. I always sit here, don't I? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't feel right. Okay, so I just wanted to speak to everyone because a lot of people have been asking, what is the fish wall? What's the point of it? Well, I know it looks like it's like we're moving into selling fish and stuff, but. That's not the case at all, is it? No, no, we're just using it as like a big quarantine system, really, is the easiest way to describe it. Um, that way we can do content with like, obviously seeing the fish a little bit more upfront and personal, so we can mm. get good shots of them. Um, and yeah, it's just gonna be storage, really, I suppose. Storage, storage, yeah. Way. So back in the day, when obviously I had a limited number of tanks and didn't have a fish wall, I would uh, take the fish back to you, wouldn't I? Yeah, and exactly. sort of you'd resell them. So what I used to do was uh, put any, if I was breaking down, say, several tanks, I'd put all the fish in one, one tank yeah and it'd be like hard we, to see a bit like we've done in the better sorority the other week when yeah. we had like the rasboras and tetras they all got on fine but it was but it was a mission trying to catch each one separate them because we want to use them again um, so now i've just basically got a full selection at any point to be able to put in scapes in the future you know i'm still i know a lot of the content at the moment is about like the fish wall and building this and building that um, but there's i'm still going to be doing full build videos and we've just finished one actually that's coming out very shortly. But also if we're like ordering stuff in as well, we're going to be buying some, we've got a big shipment coming. They all need to go somewhere. Yeah. Also, Matt gets to create his own content for his own channel. 
um, focusing on fish files, those sort of things. The, the more nitty gritty and informational based stuff that you guys all want, he'll still be doing that and yeah. talking in my videos as well. But it's a good place after I've done a build, um, I don't have to rush, I don't have to go out and grab fish because uh, they need to go in and all that sort of thing. I can have them here ready. Yeah. I can come to you and say, what's good, what shell we use. Yeah. Even if we already know, sometimes there'll be something else coming. Matt will notice some behaviour, won't you, as well? Like exactly. And aggression possible. Yeah, this is it. And if we get breeding, we can obviously separate out into the tanks as well. So like the keyholes that we've got up there at the moment, there's a couple of them showing a bit of signs of sort of breeding. So we might separate them out so mm. that we've got an actual pair yep. in one tank and then the group of them are living in another tank. Just gives us more options, doesn't it? We can it? put it apples in another one and grapes. I don't get that. Why was it keyhole? It was a pear. Oh. <laughs> It's like keyhole, how does that relate so to a bad. fruit? So, see, that's my mind going somewhere else. I just, I just started picturing fruit bowls going, oh, I really fancy a banana. I really fancy a banana. <laughs> Sorry, um, anyway. <laughs> Cue the ADHD. Yeah. Is that what it's called? ADHD, 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 ADHD yeah. comments. <laughs> and quite a few people have asked like, oh, what's the payoff? What's the payoff for this? It's not really about a payoff. It's just, we wanted a fish wall. Yeah. Just wanted something. It's a cool backdrop. It's cool for information. It's just fun having lots of different fish you can actually see because obviously in a full scape tank, you're not seeing them all of the time. So, you know, they're in and out. Whereas now we can like proper, I don't know, just really enjoy the fish for a time and then they go into the, into their new home. I think that's the fish wall is a bit more like a, a old, maybe not old school, but like a traditional fish keepers wall. You see a lot of the guys and girls that are keeping epistogrammas or something like that. And they'll have a wall like that with a pear, a pear, a pear, a pear, yeah. and banana, banana. Yeah. Um, but you'll find that that's like a, yeah, like a garage grape. fish Do you like keeper. grapes? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, garage fish keeper. Yeah, like, you know, you set up a fish room in your garage. That's what the fish wall's like. Very few people do multiple scapes. Mm. Most people keep fish for keeping fish, so yeah. they'll keep pairs of this. Which or... I've never done. No, that's it, and that's it's a different side of fish keeping. It's a whole different world where, you know, we've got a lot of people that breed fish in the local area, and they'll have something like that set up in their garage with, you know, different Corydora species in one. They might heat tanks different temperatures to make sure the fish are in breeding behavior for each individual tank. So it's just a different type of fish keeping, really. It's not that I'm not into fish, don't get me wrong. I am more so now than I ever was, and you know, obviously having someone like Matt here, so knowledgeable in that, and that, that brings it all together. I was always into creating environments, environments for the fish, yeah. but it was more of a, uh, it was, it was about the whole thing, you know, together. But whereas now we're, we're starting to do a lot more stuff, like, you know, take the Malawis, for instance. Yeah. The uh, Mabunas Cichlis, they, that, that tank is nothing like what I would have done traditionally. I would have said, oh, it's not changing enough. The, the plants don't grow fast enough. It's not, you know, but now I absolutely love it. Yeah. And I want to do more as well, that style. I just want everything. <laughs> yeah, and that's it, isn't it? You want to escape of all different species and you can take sort of, points of different parts of different areas of the world, I suppose, isn't mm. it? You know, you've got the rocky style of Africa in the Rift Lakes, yeah. and then you've got the like planted styles, and yeah, you can do everything, and that's the cool thing. And experimenting as well, because a lot of people, when I did that, that were like uh, Malawi people were yeah. like, oh, nice one, putting plant eating fish, putting plants in a tank with plant eating fish. And I was like, oh, that's a bit like, you know, wh why not, you know? Um, I like trying things and it's yeah. absolutely worked. There's plenty of people who already knew that those kind of plants could work, but I guess planted tanks in that sort of uh, community, to them all plants are plants, I yeah, guess. Yeah. They don't know that a Nubius yeah. is a hard leaf. That's it, they're fish keepers. And yeah. that's, that's, that's the beauty of the hobby, I suppose, is I see all of them. I see all of the different people. Yeah. The ones that come in and they'll have a bear tank with fancy goldfish in it, or discus maybe. And then there'll be other people that come in and there'll be more plants than fish. There'll be more hardscape than fish. And so that's the massively varied part of fish keeping is people forget that. People mm. forget, like, my style is aquascaping or whatever. But I only, no see one else those, exists. I only really see those people. Exactly. In, well, I don't see them, obviously, you guys like comments every now and again, because there's a cichlid in the title, it'll, it'll bring cichlid keepers over that aren't used to seeing part of tanks or whatever, because the algorithm's great and it, it kind of only feeds you your exact thing that you're used to or used to clicking. So they probably hadn't seen me before and all of a sudden, I've got, the, how is this anything to do with the fish wall? It kind of ties in. It's sort of, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose it ties in with what the fish wall is, isn't it? I guess so. what I'm saying is the point is that we can have different fish for experimentation and also experimenting not on, sure, on... I'm not too sure experimentation. We're not going to be doing like weird things with them. Oh, like incision <laughs> here. Yeah. No, I mean like <laughs> tank styles with certain type of fish, not having to stick to a specific setup. Well, you know, Africa cichlids have to have this. Yeah. No, let's go for that. 
or you know whatever whatever the fish is I'm, I'm up for trying loads of different things so um, variety yeah it just gives us options doesn't it at the end of the day yeah and interest like keeps it exciting we've got new fish coming in today for delivery it's great going to the fish shop but also trying out this delivery is I'm really looking forward to it. I've never done it before no I think it'll be good hopefully fingers crossed is... when is it due the delivery uh, when we get back from Florida oh, okay so yeah it should like, be like a couple of weeks yeah about two weeks time yeah, yeah. oh it's like a retail wise it's what is it 800 quid probably close to a grand know, yeah yeah probably if not more yeah a thousand pounds of fish quid probably really yeah probably by the time you sort of look i mean i through, okayed yeah. it but i i didn't know <laughs> yeah well we've got them now yeah they're coming so you said you said you wanted certain things i just i, I just said to matt if there's anything you like and it's cool and you think i'd like and ever and you guys would like i said just put it on the list and we'll have it all should be a pretty big box several boxes we need to make some space aren't we yeah, I think we're going to need that four foot setup definitely for some holding tanks. If, obviously I've ordered everything and I've spoken to people about the fish I want in, so hopefully it all collates and it all comes down into one delivery and we should have it here all on the same day, so it should make it easier for us. The only thing is, is obviously sometimes you order something and it might be smaller or larger or out of stock or whatever. Okay. So we just got to roll with the punches. It'll just be open up. Yeah, it'll be a surprise, won't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah. I think we need another fish wall. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do another. No, I haven't got the time to be lifting all those concrete blocks. No, not, not just to, yet. Not today. Not, no, not today. <laughs> you know, he knows what I'm like. No, we're we doing it now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're like, what? We'll be down at the builder's merchant later picking up breeze blocks. <laughs> so it's now been f four, five days of having fish in the fish wall yeah i'll go with yeah they yeah about that yeah, time about that. is just all over the place um yeah we've been away we've come back apparently it's thursday i didn't even know that and we're going away in less than a week yeah so yeah it's all over the place yeah anyway but the good <laughs> news is everyone is absolutely fine yeah there's not been any problems whatsoever nope the airline has just stayed completely solid now nothing's popped off so i think we've uh Basically, some of the connectors were like, they're quite cheap ones. They're like the plastic ones. Yeah. And it's almost like this, what was it? So much force from yeah, the air. Yeah, so much pressure. And they're not, um, they're not like barbed or ribbed. So they're, yeah. they're just a smooth pipe. So it just literally pushes itself off. But the wonders of super glue have fixed it all. Which we were like, every time one pops off, just, just put some glue on that one. Yeah. And it was only the close ones because of so much pressure. Yeah. yeah um, it worked. Hang on. I went through and done all of them. Oh, did you? Yeah. So Matt went through. <laughs> I literally spent about an hour pulling them all off and gluing them all. They're all glued, except for the metal ones. See, they're this ribbed. is why you're here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I just because I, I think, edit and also. I think you were. You were yeah. over there, and I think I done one, and then went. Oh, do you know what? If I'm doing one, do them all. I might as well just do them all. So anyway, anyway. They're, they're working. They're working. <laughs> but behind you is a new tank that's been set up. The video's coming out soon. I did post a picture on my Instagram of this giant piece of wood we've got in it. It's a great tank, but it's actually freed up. One, two, three tanks now. Yeah. And then we've got one over there as well, haven't we? We've got an empty one there, and we've got one with just a mano shrimps in it. So yeah, there's a bit of gaps. We've got gaps. Now we have got a fish shipment coming. That's not coming for a while, is it? That's, yeah, that's gonna be a few weeks yet. Yeah. So we're thinking, let's go to a different fish shop, see what they've got there. If they've got anything interesting, let's get it. We have <laughs> yeah. space. Matt, I thought we were going. What? I thought we were going. What are you do? Um, filling up the water bar, Brent, come when we get back. See now, you. you've got to touch the end of this metal bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is hot. Yeah, I wanted some hot in, but... <coughs> That's really hot. Is that giving it good temp? I don't know. I can't put my arm in because I burned my arm. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, we uh, do water changes by filling up this water butt that you can see there. And normally I just fill it up with cold water and let it sit for like a day or so and it just gets to the room temperature, which is like more than adequate, isn't it? Yep. But we want to drain this tank down later so we can shift it along a bit because this gap's actually smaller than it looks. Um, also, we don't like this there. We want to make that all neat. So to drain it down and fill it up in one day, we need the temperature right. So I've added some hot. Didn't know it was going to be that hot, Matt. <laughs> okay, let's go get some fish or at least have a look. We don't know if we're getting anything. No, we have a browse. Yeah. So the fish shop that we're going to, is one that I have not been to for a very, very long time. Um, since before I started coming to your shop all the time. Wow, crikey. Yeah, yeah, I used to go there good. a lot. And it's a bit further away, isn't it? It's another like 30 yes. miles away than for me. Shop, for so. me, yeah. It'd be like adding an hour to my journey when I was always just going to yours yeah. to see you anyway. And you don't need to, because you know I was there. 
Exactly. But yeah. you're not there now. No. So which means we can go and explore other places. Yeah, let's go and have a look. So you said you went there like at the weekend yep. and they had some really good stuff, yeah? Yeah, there was a few interesting bits and yeah, just a few different bits. It's always, everyone uses different suppliers, so you never know what they might get. It might be better sizing, it, yeah, all sorts. So yeah, there was a few different interesting bits. Might be interesting to see what hardscape they've got as well. I mean, I know I've just bought a load, but you can never have too much hardscape, can you? It's one of those things, you never know like what bit of wood you're going to see or what rock. It's just different, isn't it? Every piece is different than individual. Matt's only got a wagon wheel for, I don't know, <laughs> is this American as well? American? I No, I mean, um, like, do they have it in America, uh, wagon wheels? So, yeah. Well, I was just saying, I swear they used to be a lot bigger than that. Yeah. That That's rubbish. They definitely used to be much bigger. Hardly a mouthful now. And I don't even think this is a case of, well, you were smaller back then, <laughs> so they, they seem smaller than they are. But no, they're definitely bigger than that. Okay, we've arrived. Look at the size of this Garami. <laughs> yeah, the chunk. Absolute monster, really good condition. Yeah, he is actually. For a giant garami, they don't normally look this good. Not something I'd want to keep. No. But at the same time, I do appreciate how stunning it is. Um, so, yeah, this is the Eheim, isn't it? Yeah, Hang on. It's a big Eheim tank. I actually really like this tank. I think the design is spot on. With the light bar. The light bar. And you can change the colour, can't you? Yeah, yeah. If I was to do a snakehead tank, which I really do want at some point, maybe it's like a home tank or something, this would be perfect, wouldn't it? Sure. Score the lid. It's got a big volume. Yeah, I love it. But right next to it, they've got this really nice planted tank, actually. Last time I used to come in, they had a couple all, but nothing on a big scale like this. But this is really healthy. The Val, she's here. <laughs> oh, look at Gobi. Uh, uh, Panagara. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Enough. Okay, let's go in. Apparently, they've got no cash today, so... No, they've got no card. They've got no card, only cash. So we're not buying anything for sure. <laughs> but, you know, have a look. Oh, these are the reptiles. If I was going to get reptiles, I mean, look at this beast. He's so cool. Bearded dragons. Look, he's literally coming up to see us. Hello. We can have a pet. We could have a pet in the studio. Or two. That's the problem, there's two there, and I want both. Yeah, that's it. No, we don't need them. We don't, we've got enough work to do. <laughs> I don't know if these are hard, hard to look after or not. No, um, not at all. Oh, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was stood here, like, looking at this, pointing at things. I'm like, Matt, there's nothing there. <laughs> There is. Look, hang on. Something cool yellow and they're like yellow and black. Stick insects. I think my children would absolutely love them. My little Henry, he loves bugs and everything like that. He would love those guys. Kate, not so much. No. <laughs> not when they escape. So we've got a nice little little better section here. It's quite nice. Oh, that's a beauty. It's nice place. Yeah. Oh, and there's a little <laughs> Matt's just pointed out this little baby flower horn at the top here. I don't need it. It's so tiny. Yeah. I could put him in a little tank for the start. There we go, I've got the focus on him. The phone's locked. Cool, and then over this way, look. A little baby arowana. Should we get a few of them, Matt? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. yeah? Just get, it. yeah, just get it. Let's do it. <laughs> You're right in the egg club for a bit. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, really nice discus section. Asian discus. Oh, lovely. Well, look at these, look, Marlborough? No. Red, white, white, white red, white, left. I don't know. I don't know the names. And I don't know why, but I'm always drawn to the nano section. It just always have been. Um, but they've got something quite cool down here. So down the bottom, they've got these tiny little dwarf brown frogs. Do they get bigger than that, Matt? Yeah, a little bit. Not massive. Like, you know, probably, yeah, about that big. Okay. Yeah. Cool. They're cool. And loads of people always ask me about doing the doing a setup for those. So that could be something interesting. Yeah, they're great fun. They like quite like shallow water from memory. In the wild, they live in quite shallow water because they'll go up to the surface for air. So, so a shallow tank. Yeah, it would be cool, like a shallow river style tank. Yeah. And then next to them, I mean, these are well cool. Don't they like mow down all plants? Pretty much. That's everything. Okay. Everything in sight. They'll eat fish. <laughs> I don't think they're too bad on the plants, but definitely fish. Okay. Two things there that I'm actually really interested in. And piranhas. Pr what? Little baby piranha. Baby piranha. It's hard to tell, hard to pick them out with the lighting, but yeah. Um, no thank you, not not no, now. No, okay. As, yeah, I, I think that would be the tank to end all tanks. Like, the, the tank ultimate. to end all tanks. Then I'm guessing like these rows here are pretty much your, your standards, yeah. like Let's your standard stuff. 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 They always used to be. Yeah, it looks very tidy in here. Yeah, really I'm liking nice. it. Like, oh, they've got with sand, they used to have that gravel, that pea gravel. Yeah. Which I wasn't, I'm not a massive fan. Yeah, like, like with the discus. Yes. <laughs> Old school fish shop. It does the job, I guess. Yeah, that's it. I do want to get grammys again. Pearl grammys are some of my favourite grammys, and these guys here are absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
<laughs> if I had some cash, I'd buy them. <laughs> no cash today. Yeah, we were talking about this when we met yeah. about the Severums. I mean, again, these are only little ones, but they how, show me how big. How big well, are they going to get? About that size. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, chunky. crikey, I was thinking discus size, but... Yeah, a little bit bigger. They look gorgeous, though. Look, and Kate would say they've got kind faces. <laughs> Such kind faces. I just can never work out if I like the wild colour, like the greens and the blues, or if I like the reds. I think they're both nice, but... Look at these rams. Yeah, they are to chunky, aren't they? Really big. Yeah, some quality fish here, to be fair, isn't there? Yeah, pretty cool. So they've got some earth eaters here, and that's definitely one I've been like, wanting to do for quite a while. Um, these are... Juvenile, juveniles, aren't they, Matt? Yeah. yeah, so these are a slight different species. So, officially, they're not. Uh, are they geophagus? I don't think they are geophagus now. I think these have been put into a different family. Um, so, they're a bit more pointed face. Not as colourful as your standard geophagus, a bit more sort of silvery and goggy spots and blue spots. Um, but yeah, these are Juraparae. So, they've got a really cool face to them, though. And now the goldfish section. Um, so, since I've now kept a total of like seven or eight goldfish and every single one has died from the same thing over a period of time. Regardless of perfect water quality as well, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm past it, mate. I really am. It's a different, different. Be a funny shape, but just not as hardy as they used to be. It's almost a different hobby in itself, isn't it? Like, oh, definitely. It's, it's just not for me. I mean, these are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, especially these big old ones up here. Fancy goldfish, but yeah, I just I, <laughs> not I, for you. Not for me. Not for me anymore. Oh look, nice little tank with these red-eye tetra. Matt says they're African red-eye tetra. Yeah, so they're official red-eye tetra. They look really <laughs> nice. They're a cool fish. Very cool fish. I used to keep them years ago. Very, very healthy looking. Mm. Great yeah. colours, isn't there? Yeah, the orange stripes and the yeah. tail fin and the anal fin are really nice. Is that just males or? No, no. I, well, I think the males are more colourful. Females will still get a bit of colour, but just not as much. Oh, that is bright. So yeah, oh, I can't even talk. I can't speak. So there's a couple of things that I was really interested in, but uh, like I say, no cash, so I'm, I'm not buying them. But yeah, definitely a few things to think about there. Let's go get some food, Matt, yeah? Yeah, let's go get some lunch. All right, and some sunglasses. <laughs> so we're back from the fish shop. Matt's just chilling. Because we have just moved this whole tank, we're uh, filling it back up again. And that went way faster and smoother than I thought it was gonna. Yeah, it was all right, actually. Moving it was fine. Yeah, so we've brought it across, only a little bit. Hey, that sun is beaming in. I know, that's it why really I'm sat is. here, because the sun is so warm. So much sun talk. I know, <laughs> sun. So one of the main reasons we were going to the uh, fish shop is because Matt went at the weekend, he said he saw some amazing geophagus, and we're thinking about just filling this up and putting in an internal filter, just keeping an eye on all the water quality and just keeping it as a storage tank for some amazing fish. But they weren't there. No, they, they weren't gone. there. Someone's had them. Yeah. But not to worry, because not to worry. didn't you order some bigger fish on the fish order anyway? There's some bits and pieces, yeah, there should be. They might be small, they might come in small and then obviously we'll grow them up, but we'll see what comes in. You never know with fish deliveries, you can order them, and as much as it says one size, it might be other sizes. Okay. So we'll see. We'll come. Yeah, that's, it'll be a surprise. Absolutely. Anyway, the rainbows seem to be doing fine. They're going to enjoy a nice big water change. First one in a while. Um, last time I did big water change was... About a month ago, actually. But we did test the nitrates, didn't we? Yeah, we tested nitrates just zero. Yeah, just to see what they were like. But with all that plant coming out the top of yeah. it, like, there's going to be no nitrates. The in nitrates that water. don't stand a chance. No. Look at this bouffon. Is that a word? Yeah, I think that's in that the hairdo. Yeah. So this is the the hairdo of the fish it's tank. Just, it's so dense and spongy. Yeah. We were talking, do you reckon we can just lift it, isn't it? Yeah, just... like lift that whole section out and have it as a plop and drop in a in a low tank. So yeah, that's all the tanks looking amazing. Loads of space created. We've got loads more fish coming. Uh, not today, but you know, we will have a lot more. Matt has ordered some really, really nice fish that I've not seen for, well, some of them I've not seen at all, have I? Uh, hopefully, yes. That'll be cool. Um, and uh, we're gonna do like unboxings and things like that as well. They'll be going in the new setup. So do all the stuff and click it and that, bye.